there is no way um, people of European origin, Caucasian white people, our white brothers and sisters from Europe, Western Europe most specifically, can go into Palestine and carve out land and say this used to be Israel, 1947, 1949, and we are from here. Genetically speaking, biologically speaking, archaeologically speaking, it does not make sense. It's a fraud. There is no way Caucasian European people can be from Israel from a biological, hardcore, historical point of view. There is no way. They are visitors. They are welcome as visitors, but they are not, you know, native to that part of the world. Israel, uh, which used to be Palestine, is slightly to the north of Africa, practically inside Africa. And people from the Maghreb and the north um, used to go in and out of, um, of um, Palestine. Maybe I need to show you what original native Palestinians looked like. I think they call them Canaan, Canaanites, or Ishmael, Ishmaelites. Most of them converted to Islam. I am Canaanim in Israel. I go American and I help with the people black in America. Uh, Anna, uh, do you have something to say to the brothers, the black brothers in America? In Arabic and English? <coughs> احنا مبسوطين بالزيارة بالزيارة وبنبعث سلاماتنا لكل الناس الطيبين بأمريكا سمر لأخواننا السمر بأمريكا. and what's that in English? we sent flowers from our land here to our brothers black people in أمريكا and we like them. Okay. <laughs> All right. And they've been deleted, erased from existence by cantankerous, violent uh, mobsters from straight out of Europe who are claiming heritage to something that is really quite peculiar. Not, you know, it, it's just. A, a very interesting phenomenon that is going on there in um, in Israel. All this killing that is going on over there. And I'll tell you what, the most cantankerous, the most violent, the most deadly, the most poisonous um, of um, these violent people out there in, um, in Israel are happen to be Caucasian, people who don't have much claim. The most peaceful people you will find over in um, Palestine, which they've carved out, called it Israel, are um, black, original natives, Canaanites, Ishmaelites, as from Ishmael in Canaan, that's right. The only thing that we miss, the contact, with our countries in Africa. I'm eight post Salamat. So my father is Muhammad Khala. So this is the whole detail. So he, my father is famous with this name, Muhammad Khala. So I'm his son. I know that I have brothers back home. I would like to see them before the end of our life. And thank you all. This is deep, this is very, very deep. By this time, I've been in Jerusalem for almost one week, in and out of African quarter, 
tried to pin down somebody to show me around. As a result, those security guards got to know me pretty well. That was a bit worrisome to me. It took me a while to understand that local Arabs have many different names for this quarter, but none of them is the African quarter. Why is that? In my opinion, it is because for Arabs in general, the color black is the worst insult and demeaning you can ever call somebody. They will call black Asmar or Samara, which means brown but not black, which is Aswat in Arabic. That is why they would like to distance the quarter from being called anything black or African. But the black residents themselves always refer to their quarter as the African quarter. Okay, assalamu alaikum. This is my brother, it's called Ayman. Yes. He lives in this neighborhood. He's gonna take me around to show me how his neighborhood is like. He was yeah. born in this neighborhood. And you're gonna tell me a little bit about yourself.